Hello, proper voice, senor. This is Sarah from Ho. Today, I'm here to show you guys a much better, much better collection. I've been collecting. I have a much more collection with my mobs, guys. I make this mob for you. It's very simple. I fix it for you, guys. It's a lot more compact, though. Hi guys, I'm Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. Today is uh, my second. This is a new version to that. This is version 2.0. It's a it's a lot slimmer as you can see, a lot more less resource, and a lot easier to build, guys. And it works a lot more efficiently. So if you guys would like to know how this is built, first let's see how this works. So let's get out a couple of eggs. I had a, I saw the spider. What? That's a cave spider. Where? And a, sp a spawn spider. No wonder I couldn't find it. Okay, guys, so now we have a whole bunch of different mobs. These are the likely things you will find in a regular world. So let's just place a few randomly around. Um, usually it's not this hard for a mob to get caught up in here. Simply look out there, guys. Look at all the mobs. Slimes do real well in this machine as well. So slimes work really well. Here it comes around the side. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Bang! Straight into the capturing device, and we have our string. Where did it go? Is it in our box? No. Yes, yes! There is a string. There it goes. Okay, okay. So yeah, this basically does everything to everything. So you're gonna have cooked steak, you're gonna have wool, you're gonna have feathers, you're gonna have... You're gonna have a lot of gunpowder too, guys. And yes, you're gonna have slime balls as well. I'm not joking, this is also a slime farm, guys. Very, very sufficient slime farm, I might add. Believe it or not. See how that creeper's... The creeper's a little different. He'll stand there for a while. But he will stay in there. And what happens is eventually a bigger mob will come along, like a cow or a slime or whatnot. And when that gets collected, it will push the creeper in. And there it goes. The creeper has been pushed into the lava. And so has the little slimes. Look at the little slimes. All those slimes are going to be collected very quickly by these carts that are constantly being pushed out. As you can see, being collected. And I am also getting slimes as well, guys. So that is freaking, freaking amazing. Look how many slimes I got, guys. Look at the slime balls. And I got gold, everything, guys. So let's build this real quick. I'll show you guys very quickly how this is built. Let's just set it to date. Okay guys, the first thing you want to do is get out your equipment. So we're going to need some hoppers, one comparator, and some redstone torches, two different types of tracks, power rail, and regular rail. I keep wanting to say whale, I'm not sure why that is, but who else has that? Do we need? We need a chess. Whoa, wait. Where are the chests? There we go, we got a chest. I got a hairy chest as well, guys. All right, so we, we have mostly everything we need. We do need a bucket of lava, a cactus, and sand if we can fit it in. So for now, we'll just get some sand. Okay, guys, let's start crackling. Okay, let's put the very first thing down today will be our double or single chest. Okay, now we have got a hopper here going... Crouch place that into the chest like so. Okay, so now we have this happening here. So this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. So now we want our dispenser. Oh, shikes. We didn't get a dispenser. Let's get a dispenser out way before the sand. So we have a dispenser, and that is going to be here. Now we want to build our timer, guys, because we want to find out where this dispenser is going to throw our loot. It's very important we find that out early on. So let's uh, place these down. Crouch place both of these hoppers into each other. Like that. There we go. So we have this now. Let's get out our comparator and whack it down into here and throw your comparator back into there. So now you have a constant tick. All right. So let's chuck something in there. Anything. Let's uh, throw an empty bucket. What am I doing? Wrong, wrong hopper, guys. I'm sitting really close to the screen because of my mic. So uh, I'm almost blind right now, guys. So I'm doing this live for you guys. So it's, it's a lot easier to do. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put in... Okay, so that goes into the chest. Alright, so before we can do that, we need to make a line out here, guys, with our hoppers. So that's going to help a lot. Let's crouch place that into here all the way down. Okay. So let's throw something in here and let's see. Let's throw the bucket in there. Is it going to come back? Yes, it... Oh, yes, it came back and it came out into this hopper. Into the chest. Perfect, guys. That's exactly how you want this setup to be. This is absolutely perfect. Let's test it now with the rails. 
So we're going to have to crouch place our rail here all the way down, like so. Behind here we're actually going to want to put a block, any block, uh, I might put some sand seeing I need some sand. A wall, so we're going to make a wall, a solid block has to be here for the carts to be dispensed properly. So here we're going to have some sand and we're going to get out our cactus, which is a very important part of this contraption. Okay, let's whack our cactus down like so. We okay, let's test this thing out before we go any further. So let's get our cart out. Okay, let's place it on the track. Push it into there. Let's see if it comes back. Yes, it did. It came back. It came back, guys. So let's push it again. So what, what we need here is a bit more power, guys. So we're going to have to put a torch like this. But it will stop the ticks, and that's no good. So put the torch there. Okay, push. Come on. Yes, now we have a constant flow. That's exactly what we want. So we need that redstone torch right there. So this so far is working well. Let's just test it again real quick. Put a block that we don't want into the hopper. Let's see if it comes into the chest. Perfect. So you want that every time. Now we're ready to proceed. So let's get out some glass. Get out a lava bucket again and an empty one just in case. And we might just need a couple more hoppers, guys, for perfection and some more tracks and a redstone torch. Okay, let's go. We need glass. Don't put glass there or the cactus will break. Put it on the angle here. Here and here. And one more here. Okay, so now we can actually build up our front. We also need a solid block. We're going to have to put that here like this. Like that. Okay, so now let's make a border around the cactus, like this, okay, and now we're going to want a sign guys, because we're going to pour that lava down, and we don't, we want the sign to stop the lava from flowing, so put the sign right here, get out your lava, and place it here. That lava should stay on top of the cactus without destroying the cactus. So that's an interesting fact. Sometimes your uh, loot is going to get trapped out here. So what you want to do is break this and put some hoppers into that one and into that one and now you want to actually put your glass back only on this one. Perfect. Put one there as well. You want to do the same for this side. So hopper into this hopper, hopper crouch place into this hopper and a bit of glass back. Whoops back here as well and a bit of glass here now we're done we're complete this is the contraption guys now to collect your mobs the only thing we're gonna have to do now is divert the tracks okay so what we're gonna have to do is come two blocks away maybe three here see this track here you want to divert that this way so let's uh, crouch place oops break the one in front of it break the cart there, you want that turn here. Now you want a powered rail here. It'll light up through that redstone as well. So let's bring that out. That's your first exit point of your tracks. That's where they're going to go left first. Then they're going to come back around and connect back up to here. So we're going to do the same thing but backwards. So let's put a regular track here so it bends. Put the power rail here, here. And here's your exit rail. Okay, so now we want a redstone torch here and here. Okay, this should be okay. This should be it. So now all you want to do, guys, is connect. And now the carts will go around completely. The only other thing you want to do, guys, is make sure there is at least one drop off here right before it goes into the contraption. The reason why is because a lot of the time when there's too many mobs, those carts are going to come back and bounce off this block back in, pushing the mobs back in instead of having them go back around all the way. Because if they're on fire, they're going to die around here and you're going to lose all your efficiency with your loot. So to keep the efficiency high, you're going to have a drop off here as well. Sometimes you will get a chicken or a slime there, but they will die in there eventually guaranteed it won't be there forever and as long as the chickens there that's fine it will lay eggs and those eggs will hatch over here and it will collect new chickens 
Then what you want to do is place at about 9 to 10 carts on this track. It's just enough so that every moment or every second you'll see another cart going past. And that way, no matter what walks across, because as you know, mobs are quite slow, um, it won't have time to actually cross. Therefore, this whole area is actually protected. So no mob can get in or out of this square without being collected. That's why it's fast and that's why it's very efficient. As you can see, this has only been two to three nights and I literally had all these things. Keep in mind this is on hard mode at the moment in order to attract more mobs. But nonetheless, this does actually work in survival mode, full-fledged survival mode. So guys, I hope you like this design that I came up with. My name's Sarah from 1 Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.